Joining me now, Chiefs General Manager Jason Smorrell. Welcome, Jason. Hi, Kelly. Let's start things off. We've got some new jerseys this yeah, year, right? Yeah, break them out. All right, let's look at these. So they're on the road, so obviously wearing their grays today. We're in the grays tonight in Scranton at 7.05. It's a new gray uniform, lightweight. We have a, with a new script Syracuse, kind of old school feel to Very it. Very old school. I love it. All right, so, and, and these ones. These ones yes, are what everybody's the, dun, talking dun, about. Dun, dun, the controversy. <laughs> There's 18 people on Facebook, who, including suspects, who are not on board with the new alternate jersey. We're probably going to wear this on Sundays. This is the largest jersey yeah. in the history of baseball. <laughs> I don't know who this fits. Two of the guys, I think. <laughs> but we wanted to bring a little bit more color to okay. the action, and, that, and we stole this blue from our logo. So it's this a is a Syracuse blue. Chiefs blue. All right, and then we've got this one, which is our classic. That's the classic traditional home jersey that we couldn't change mm -hmm. because of, you know, licensing stuff when we decided to do it. The players just wanted that. Here's going to be our Tex Simone uh, patch that we're going to wear on all of the jerseys this season. And it's just that lighter weight fabric that yeah. the guys wanted. So we needed new uniforms. We sold the old ones to make enough money to pay for new ones. And bam, we've got nice new uniforms for the Syracuse Chiefs. Beauty, beauty. So the Chiefs obviously coming off a playoff season last year. So are the Nats. Nats yeah. actually a favorite among many to win it all, to win the World Series. So we're on board with the Washington Nationals. What does that do for your franchise here in town? It, it's good for the Chiefs. You know, the better that the Nats are, the better it is for us because their pitching staff is so strong this year year that gives us that there's nowhere right now for AJ Cole and Taylor Hill and Taylor Jordan to go so we get three solid starting pitchers to start the year and as uh, they get healthier with Rendon getting healthier and Worth getting healthier that might some of that power may come back to Syracuse. Absolutely and speaking of those starting pitchers you know obviously a lot of power there very quickly let's talk about that timer that's going to be placed on them this season. Uh, yes it's an interesting fact that uh, there's no clocks in baseball okay but there is timers. Yes <laughs> so, this season new timers being yes, tried out. Triple A double A uh, we're going to have the clocks probably be installed this weekend timers uh, and there's 20 seconds between pitches two minutes 25 seconds between innings all in an effort just to help the pace of play absolutely and we'll see how that works out at this level